Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Announcing the arrival of Professor Dr. Dr. Rohana Yusuf, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Student Affairs, University of Malaya, accompanied by Mr. Anand Lazarus, Managing Directors of Microsoft Malaysia, and Dr. Abu Hassan Ismail, Chief Executive Officer, Pestariang Systems, Nyabrahat. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for our national anthem, Negaraku. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Professor Dato Dr. Rohana Yusuf, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Student Affairs, University of Malaya, Mr. Anand Lazarus, Managing Director of Microsoft Malaysia, Dr. Abu Hassan Ismail, Chief Executive Officer, Prestariang Systems Nyamberhat, University of Malaya, Microsoft Malaysia, and Prestariang Systems Nyamberhat Management, friends from the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the official launch of the Head Start program at the University of Malaya. To start our ceremony this morning, may I call upon Mr. Ahmad Fauzi bin Ahmad Dahlan to recite a doa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Assalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهي إلنا من أمرنا رشدا اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وارزقنا علما ينفعنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا زدنا علما وارزقنا فحما برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما اللهم يا الله ada pagi yang berkat lagi bersejarah ini sepenuh pelancaran program Hikstad yang kami rancangkan kami menadah tangan dengan bersyukur kepada mudah selimpah kurnia ni'mat yang tidak terhingga ke atas kami Sehingga kami dapat hidup dengan aman, damai dan harmoni Serta dapat melaksanakan tugas yang diamanahkan dengan baik Jadikanlah majlis kami ini majlis yang diridai serta diberkati sepanjang masa Allahumma ya Allah Kau berkatilah segala usaha yang kami rancangkan pada pagi ini Kau lapangkanlah dada kami, permudahkanlah segala urusan kami serta hilangkanlah segala kesusahan dan keluh kesah kami. Kurniakanlah kepada kami rezeki yang halal, lagi baik, 
Setiap penuh keberkatan Jadikanlah kami di kalangan hamba-hambamu Yang sentiasa bersyukur Allahumma ya Allah Kuniakanlah kepada kami ilmu yang bermanfaat Mahirkanlah kami dengan ilmu yang telah kami pelajari Tambahkanlah ilmu yang berguna Serta bermanfaat kepada kami Serta kuniakanlah kepahaman terhadap ilmu yang kami telah pelajari Dengan limpah rahmatmu jua ya Allah Allahumma ya Allah kepada mulah Kami puan keselamatan dan kesejahteraan Hindarkanlah universiti kami Kampus kami serta negara kami Daripada segala bala bencana Tanamkan Di hati kami sifat sabar Tabah dalam menghadapi ujian dan dugaanmu Ya Allah Terimalah segala kerja dan amal bakti kami Dengan sempurna Dan terimalah usaha kami sebagai amal ibadah kami Kepada mujua Ya Allah Rabbana atina fid dunia hasanah Wa fil akhirati hasanah Tawakina azab al-nar Allahumma khatim lana ya Allah Bi husnil khatimah Wa la takhtim alayna ya Allah Bi su'il khatimah صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين تقبل الله منكم امين امين يا رب العالمين ثانك يو مستر احمد فوزي نيكست اي ود لايك تو كول ابون مستر انن لازاروس مانجنج دايركتورز اوف مايكروسوفت ماليزيا تو ديليفر هيز سبيتش Yang Barbagia, Professor Dato Dr. Ohana Yusuf, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Student Affairs and Alumni, University of Malaya, Dr. David Asirvadam, UMIT Department Director, uh, Dr. Abu Hassan Ismail, Chief Executive Officer of Prestariam, Mr. Nick Faisal, uh, Director of Sales for Microsoft Public Sector, the bright students of University of Malaya. Members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Professor Rohana, thank you for graciously hosting this event at the lovely grounds of Mal Malaysia's first university. It is certainly very inspiring to walk in to the halls of this great academic institution and consider just how many great minds and national leaders have walked through its gates. I am certainly very honored to stand amongst all of you here to share a little bit how we at Microsoft Malaysia are committed to transforming Malaysia for the better through education. So about, we've been in uh, Malaysia for about 20 years now as Microsoft, and we've come up with a national agenda or a national plan uh, on how we can transform Malaysia together. We looked at three important things to help our nation's vision of reaching a high economy nation by the year 2020. And you've heard about the government transformation programs, you've heard about the economic transformation programs. And we said, how can Microsoft as an industry leader help catalyze that transformation? And we came out with how can Microsoft help transform Malaysia together as our key statement. We looked at three key pillars. One was how can we transform the lives of every Malaysian? How can we transform the businesses? And if you look at lives and, ac and if you look at businesses, the key anchor in this is how can we transform education? How can we get our young students like you ready for a very, very competitive Malaysia in the years to come. Because if it isn't you who's going to make that difference, all our commitments, all our promises will not be there. Students do have a very, very significant part as we see it to ensure continual progress and success of this great country. So great emphasis and attention must be given to each of you to ensure that you bring out the best in yourselves in the education system and thereby the country, not just in Malaysia because the world has gone global, but across the world. How does Malaysia move higher and higher in that worldwide uh, map? This is a passion and vision 
we share with the Honorable Prime Minister to enhance creativity, innovation, and competitiveness among students so that they can be better leaders of tomorrow. In order to do this, a concerted effort must be made by all parties in both the private and public sector to wholeheartedly invest in our children and their education. This is where Microsoft strongly believes we have a critical role to play. We have developed, as I said earlier, our national plan focused on transforming and helping catalyze the transformation that is happening in this great country. This event today in conjunction with the Head Start program is an important milestone in transforming Malaysia through education. This morning, we embark on an exciting collaboration with the University of Malaya to put the business productivity tools of tomorrow into the hands of today's students, to equip all 27,000 uh, UM students with genuine Microsoft Office software throughout the university years and beyond. Because remember that every step you take in college today must help you get ready for the business world of tomorrow. Businesses throughout the year, world use Microsoft Office. You need to be very proficient with that, not when you join business, but from today, and you have to get onto uh, these IT tools. Students, ladies and gentlemen, the effort we have put into this program is grounded in our passion and promises in our national plan to help transform this great country, as I said earlier. For the past 20 years, Microsoft, through its people, have been investing in education in this country. We look at three strong pillars that we have today when we come to education. The first is Microsoft Dream Spark, which provides students with Microsoft software design and development tools at no charge. Right? So any of you all want to develop innovative software based on our platform, it's all available to you free of cost. The second is Imagine Cup. How many of you all watch football? No one watches football? So there's the Football World Cup, but when it comes to the World Cup for IT, for students, it's called the Imagine Cup. It's Microsoft's commitment to the world of students. We do a competition here in Malaysia. This year we are doing it in uh, KK, where we'll have thousands of uh, Malaysian students participating. And then the finalists will go over this year. Last year they went to New York, this year, or Washington last year. This year we'll go to Australia for the final competition. Malaysian students have done very well in the past. They have been winners. And I'm hoping someone here is among those winners, if not this year, in the years to come. And the third initiative we do is Partners in Learning, where we work with the Ministry of Education, partners like Prestariang and other educational institutions and key stakeholders to improve literacy of our teachers so that they can help the students. So over the years, we have trained over 200,000 teachers in digital literacy. So as I said earlier, we have as a country set very aspiring and inspiring uh, goals for ourselves to be realized by the year 2020. To achieve these aspirations, it's more than just increasing wealth, but it's about how we embrace change, how we embrace technology. We must invest in human capital by providing cutting edge technology that will nurture an innovative, knowledgeable, and well-prepared workforce. This is exactly why we have launched the Head Start program here at UM today. It is an investment into the future knowledge workers, that's you, uh, of Malaysia, and as we work to transform Malaysia together. So once again, thank you for giving us this opportunity to help transform each one of you to be better, well-equipped uh, citizens of tomorrow in Malaysia. Thank you again. Thank you, Mr. Anand Lazarus. And now, it gives me great pleasure to invite Professor Datuk Dr. Rohana Yusuf, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Students Affairs, University of Malaya, to deliver her speech 
and officially launch the Head Start program at the University of Malaya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, yang berbahagia Dr. David Asivatam, uh, Head of Department for PTM, and uh, Dr. Abu Hassan Ismail, Chief Executive Officer Presta Riang Sinan Berhad, and also Mr. Anath Lazarus, uh, Managing Director of Microsoft Malaysia. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, dan juga ya, uh, yang saya sayangi pelajar-pelajar Universiti Malaya. Um, Tuan-tuan, uh, perempuan, semua pelajar yang saya hormati sekalian uh, Bersyukur kita kehadiran Allah SWT Kerana uh, kita di, di, diberi kesihatan yang baik pagi ini Dapat berjumpa bersama-sama dalam majlis begini ya. uh, Terlebih dahulu saya ingin merakamkan ucapan terima kasih Kepada Pusat Teknologi Maklumat uh, Dan juga Microsoft Malaysia dan Prestariang Serta kepada semua pihak yang terlibat ya, uh, Dalam kerjasama yang, dan yang memberi kerjasama dan sokongan untuk majlis ini. Sesungguhnya kehadiran semua pada pagi ini melambangkan sokongan padu kepada aktiviti-aktiviti program bersama pelajar di Universiti Malaya. Okay, distinguished guests, students, staff of UM and also members of the media, please allow me to continue my speech in English. Um, firstly, I would like to warmly welcome uh, all of you to the official launch of the Head Start program, a collaborative effort with industry players like Microsoft and Pestariang to empower students with the cutting-edge productivity tools of the 21st century. Um, all of us here are already aware yeah? innovation is a key pillar to the success of our nation. And as students of the tertiary education, you play a critical role to elevate the progress of the country towards achieving the vision of transforming into a knowledge-based economy through innovation. Okay. Now, many of you might ponder upon the fact of the relevance of innovation and using genuine software as a tool of creating and developing and producing great innovative outcomes. At this juncture, I would like to quote the Prime Minister's statement yeah, uh, in the year 2010, in the conjunction of the year of innovation. So what did he say? Creating a high-income nation will mean higher wages through the economy, as growth is derived not only from capital, but the greater productivity through the use of skills and innovation. Uh, improved coordination, stronger branding, in compliance with the international standard and intellectual property rights. Okay? And uh, in the knowledge economy, investment in a new technology, multi-skill, innovation and creativity, and increased competency are the drivers of the public and private sectors performance. We expect investment and competition for the best talent through paying high wages. Yeah. So the more you get, of course, yeah, uh, competition. If you're good, people will pay you. Okay, it's always performance-based for everyone. So you, if you can do something better than the the other person, you get better pay. So this is, I mean, the normal thing that happens every day, isn't it? So now, equip yourself, equip yourself with the, what we have now. Okay, and. Uh, even wages for the blue-collar workers will be based on them acquiring higher competencies uh, with their performance more readily benchmarked against international competitors. With more skills comes greater responsibility and better, higher-paying jobs. Okay? More money, more responsibility and higher pay. Right? That's the way it should go. So distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the point that I would like to make is that to become a competitive institute and workforce of the future, students as the DNA of the University Malaya should strive towards using and leveraging on cutting-edge tools uh, that can support our initiative locally at the University of Malaya, being the, as the oldest and highest and largest research university of the nation. UM has taken this initi initiative together with the help of Ministry of Higher Education, Microsoft, 
Pestarian to provide genuine software among students while driving the character among us on the seriousness of respecting intellectual property rights. Cost of adopting genuine software at certain instances can be costly, and the university management, together with Microsoft and Prestarian, recognize the condition. Okay, and as an outcome to that, Head Start program is being made as a service offering on top of the current ICT services delivered at University of Malaya. This is definitely not possible without the support of the Ministry of Higher Education, as we are aware that a Head Start is a value added service brought upon from the campus agreement that Mohi already has with Microsoft and Prestariang. Okay. Uh, in this Head Start program, all UM students will be able to download, download your Microsoft Office software and also uh, 200 other Microsoft software. So I think that should excite you, yeah? 200 other software. And um, another key benefit to the student is that they have access to the large volume of rich educational material uh, under the IT Academy. Among the material that could access are training video, lecture series, usual ma uh, user manual, as well as multimedia ICT training materials. I hope students are able to take full advantage of this educational material to strengthen their knowledge of the industry that is required for employability in the new future. Okay, we want to be the best university, we want to be top ranking university, so the students have to be up to par. And now we are equipping you with all this, and please make full use of it, okay? Um, another key uh, of the employability of the ICT is ICT certification, which is of great asset to the student today. Students with industry certification, such as Microsoft, Cisco, or PMI, have been rated to be employed faster than better with better income packages. Yeah, these are the skills that you need using these uh, softwares. Today, once again, with the collaboration of the industry players like Microsoft, Prestarang, and the Ministry of Higher Education, this set of uh, certification is provided at no cost to the student via the 3P program. In this case, the Head Start program has been also integrated with the 3P to provide training on Microsoft Office for students in supporting their usage. So, dear students, try to find out what you have and what we're giving you. I think, uh, you, you have to be aware of this to make sure that you, you can use this, okay? Uh, and we hope that by next year we don't have a much student, uh, I mean, discussing about why they have to pay a certain amount for ICT, you know? Because we are giving you much more than what you, uh, you can get for that amount that you're paying, okay? Uh, I believe that the launch of Head Start is just the beginning of to many of the collaborative initiatives um, that University of Malaya, Microsoft and Prestarian can undertake for the betterment of the students and the institution. Distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, once again, I would like to thank all parties involved in this effort and the success of this program, which includes University of Malaya staff, Microsoft Malaysia and Prestarian. I would like to end this speech with a recitation of Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Wabillahi Taufiq Wal Daya. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Datuk Dr. Rohana Yusuf. Datuk, may I ask you to remain on the stage for the launching ceremony? I also would like to invite Mr. Anand Lazarus, Dr. Abu Hassan Ismail, Dr. David Abbasatams, and representative from UM Student Council to join Professor Dato Dr. Rohana Yusuf on stage for official launch of the Head Start program, University Melaya. May I invite Mr. Anand Lazarus to hand over the Head Start program logo to Professor Dato Dr. Rohana Yusuf to mark the official launch for the Head Start program.
can, can I invite the students to come on the stage?